Well, now that the government shutdown is over and the IRS appears to be working again, people are starting to file their taxes, both Democrats and Republicans alike. And what a lot of Trump supporters have found out is that, uh uh-oh, they didn't get those Republican tax cuts like they were promised just 15 months ago. Now, if you remember, Republicans told us, an analyst told us, an economist told us, that the tax cuts immediately went into effect for the, for the top 1%, right? They, they got their tax cuts immediately. It was enacted at the end of 2017. They got theirs for 2018. The rest of us, we had to wait another year. It was really didn't kick in until we filed our taxes in 2019. So we weren't gonna get our paychecks, you know, blowing up immediately, had to wait till the next year. Well, now that people are filing their taxes and still collecting paychecks, they've realized that they were swindled and Trump voters, Trump supporters are absolutely pissed off and taking to Twitter to share their horror stories about filing their taxes this year. Uh, Raw Story has done a phenomenal job of kind of cataloging a lot of these tweets. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna read just a couple here. Uh, Let's start with this one from uh, uh, Dennis Jordan says, I am a Republican voter. I just did our taxes. The GOP tax bill cost my family thousands of dollars this year on our return due to changes, thereby hitting us with the largest tax increase of our lives. We are middle-class homeowners and you raised our taxes. Infuriating. Uh, Here's another one. Says, I have to pay $2,000 more in taxes this year. What happened? I voted for you and thought you were fixing this, not making it worse. I thought I would get money back this year. There's another one, NYC girl. Voted for you, family of two, hardworking New York cops. Did taxes for years. We would pay more and get a refund at the end of the year to help pay debt. First time in 30 years, We had to pay more in federal taxes. I'm disgusted. Another one here from Joel Servant says, at POTUS, thank you for screwing the middle class with your tax reform. I have never in my life, I'm 49 years old, had to pay into the IRS until this year. We have a combined income of $150,000. The middle class voted for you. I will not make the same mistake twice. The list goes on. I mean, this, you, you can read more, just follow the link in the description of this video, but there's so many of them. And now I've said in the past, show I'm going to stop showing sympathy for Trump voters, but listen, this I get, okay? This I understand. Not that I didn't understand the others, but, but I do have sympathy on this particular issue. These people bought into the lie that Republicans were going to give us trickle down economics and trickle down economics on this, you know, fourth, fifth try, whatever it was, was totally going to work this time. Well, it didn't, you know, you should have known better on that part. But here's what they didn't realize, and this is why so many people are paying more in taxes, is that we had to give the top 1%, you know, everything they wanted. And the middle class, we were gonna get a tax cut, right? Our taxes were gonna go down slightly, but what they did to make up for that was they got rid of a lot of our middle class deductions. So things in the past that we were able to write off and take a big chunk off of our tax bill, we can't do that anymore. That didn't happen for the top 1% but it happened for us. Among the changes, by the way, is that teachers can no longer write off the total amount that they spend out of pocket to buy supplies for their classroom. And if I seem pissed off about that, I am. I am married to a teacher who spends at least $100 every month of the year out of her pocket to buy stuff for her classroom. We don't get to write that crap off anymore. I have not yet filed my taxes, but like everyone else in this Twitter thread here, I am also likely going to end up paying more. I did not get a reduction in any of my paychecks for the last 14 months showing that I got a tax cut. In fact, because insurance prices went up again at the start of the year, as they always do, my paychecks are technically less right now than they were one year ago. I'm with you on this folks, except I wasn't foolhardy enough to vote for Donald Trump. I knew better but I also knew better than to not believe the Republicans when they tell us anything about taxes because they're liars. But here's the great thing. These people get it now and so many more, so many more than just what's in this Twitter thread. They understand it, they get it. And hopefully they will never make the same mistake twice as this one Twitter user said. This is what Republicans do. They pull you in with these lofty promises and then screw you over every chance they get. They have been proving this for decades. And finally, finally, 
some of these people are starting to open their eyes and realize that the Republican party is nothing more than a party of Donald Trump's just con men as far as the eye can see. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.